Hey guys, I'm Scotty B, and uh, welcome to another segment of Cook Your Catch. So today, we're gonna go ahead and do some, kind of a simple thing, but it's delicious. It's gonna be a blackened shrimp taco, topped with, I know you're gonna take it easy, a coleslaw with mango, pineapple, and jalapeno. You're gonna love it. I have a special way to cook these shrimp. They're marinating in a coconut, milk, pineapple, orange juice. It's easy, it's simple, and it's quick. All you do is get yourself some orange juice, some pineapple juice, some garlic, either fresh or in the jar. Doesn't matter what's ever easiest for you. And a can of Thai coconut milk, not the low fat. I'm a cook, not your doctor. So let's go ahead and use that, pour it in, mix it up, and let it marinate. You can marinate it for an hour, you can marinate it overnight, doesn't matter. Uh, but what we're gonna do right now is go ahead and put the shrimp on over a fire at 350 degrees. And if sometimes if you have, you know, the shrimp are not big enough or whatever, you can skewer them and then cook them on the skewer and then take them off and put them on the tacos. So today, we're just, we found some really nice shrimp here. I'm at the Angler Armory World Championship in Fort Pierce, Florida. Went out this morning and hunted down some fresh shrimp from Fort Pierce. So these guys just caught these, I would say probably last night they came in. So we're gonna have some fresh Fort Pierce shrimp. So we are going to lay these on the grill and we start with about a dozen or so and then we're gonna go ahead and just let them cook. You don't wanna overcook them because it's gonna be, they get too rubbery, so you just wanna keep an eye on them. And I'm running the grill right about 350 degrees over a charcoal with a little bit of wood infusion in it. So these are gonna be fabulous. I wish you were here, you could taste them because you're gonna love them. So here's a little secret. We're gonna go ahead and add some blackening season to them right now, which is gonna kick it up a notch. So as they're on the grill, just go ahead and put some of the blackening season on it. You don't wanna, you don't wanna put it on when they're marinating because it's gonna get lost in the marinade. So you just wanna do it at the last minute when you put them on the grill. And this is gonna be good. Mm -mm -mm. You're gonna have the, the blackening taste, that little you know, heat with a little bit of that sweet coconut and pineapple in there. It just, it sets the taste buds on a craziness that you never had before. It's gonna be good. We're gonna give them one more little, one more little dab of the blackening. I like the spice and the flavor is phenomenal. So, and you know, everybody has a different level of heat, spice, whatever, but I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Sometimes they just don't make it to the table. I don't know, but it happens. I like leaving the tails on. It acts as a little handle so you can, you know, pick them up and, you know, steal one and take a bite. So we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna move them on over to the cutting table. So what we're gonna do is take the shrimp and it's personal preference. I like to cut them up so you're not having to fight the shrimp the whole time while you're trying to eat it. So small pieces, works good. So we're gonna take our taco shell tortilla right off the grill. And we're gonna go ahead and start plating. Okay, once we have the, once you have the shrimp on your tortilla, you're gonna go ahead and get a little bit of cilantro. Fresh cilantro does the trick. Put a little on there. Some people don't like a lot of the heat, so we're just gonna go ahead and go right to the slaw. And this slaw is really, really fabulous. And again, and then we're gonna take a little bit of lime and go ahead and top it off with the lime juice. And all you do is fold it and eat it. It's quick, it doesn't take a lot. And you can feed a lot of people and it's good finger food and it goes a long way. 